G'day everybody, Nick Diggle here with part 4B of our virtual reality tower defense game. I realize that 4B is an absolutely stupid thing to do, but I did promise it was only going to be a five-part series, and I realized I didn't put any time aside to create the goal for the enemies, or the thing that they're going to destroy, or the thing you're going to protect for that matter. So I figured I would just dedicate a tiny bit of time right here before we get to the spawning system in the next video, because that seems appropriate. Get this thing to protect up and running. We'll make a prefab out of it. We'll get his script, which is not that long. And then we can jump straight to the spawning system, which is a big, complicated beast. But it's probably the only thing that I'm really, really proud of in this project. Everything I'm proud of, but this one I'm especially proud of because of how uh, flexible I've created it. Anyway. That all aside, let us create the thing to protect. So I'm going to create just a cube for this one. We're going to call it thing to protect. Now, the only, I could not come up with a better name for this one, only because, really, you could be making your tower defense game about anything. And for mine, it's so generic, I just don't know what to call it. So I'll just put everything at zero, the Y at 0 0.5, and we'll put the thing to protect right in the back corner there. Let's give it a color. Let's go to materials. I'm going to give it like a purplish hue, I think. So let's just call it purple. Let's set the color. That's a lot of purple. No smoothness. No specular. There's my thing to protect. Quite simple. Okay. Now, what I want to do is make a prefab like I do with everything else and put a script onto it. I don't want to change really any settings about this guy uh, because the enemies are the one that's going to drive all of the efforts here of running into him, triggering code and having tags and things like that. So for this guy here, this thing to protect, he doesn't have anything special. He's just a physical object with something that you could run into. That's basically it for him. And in the script section, we're gonna create a script called thing to protect. And once again, the name doesn't matter. I just keep it nice and simple. Now the thing to consider here, he's just a bit like an enemy. He's gonna have health and current health. He's also gonna have a health bar and a health bar prefab. So I'm going to set those up straight away, just like we did on our enemies. In fact, I'm going to be really, really cheap here, and I'm going to copy and paste a little bit of code. But I'm going to type up the health stuff first before I do any copy and pasting. I'll give him 100 health to start with, and current health, like we did. Then a public game object for the health bar, prefab, and then a game object for the health bar, just like we did in the other one. Now the copy and paste comes in for the void awake. Okay, that's where I want to chuck most of my code. Now I don't think we need update, so we'll get rid of him now, rather than deleting it later. So I'm going to go to the enemy script. I'm going to go to the awake. We are going to copy these. Paste it right there. Okay, so on that note there, uh, what's our next step here? I'm going to do something quickly. Uh, what have I forgotten? Oh, that's what I was going to do. We have to add damage to our enemies. Of course. Okay, if our enemies ever have any hope of dealing any damage to the thing, we actually have to provide how much damage they're going to deal. Now, we're going to keep it really small to start with the small enemies. We're just going to deal five damage a piece. Okay, so that would mean it would take 20 small enemies, which we won't even have in our wave system to begin with, to take it out. So what we're gonna do is we are only gonna react to the enemies that run into us. So what we do there is you go uh, on, trigger, enter, like that. Now if you've got the new version of Visual Studio, you can just do that like I did, type it in and press enter. If you have an older version, you have to type all of this in yourself. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. First thing is, I want to get the object that ran into us, which is the other dot game object. So this is now the object that ran into us. Check if it's spell again add enemy so if object dot tag equals enemy okay then we're going to do lots of stuff we're going to take away some health we're going to reflect the health bar and destroy the enemy so current health minus equals object we have to find the damage which is on the enemy script so it's the object get component enemy dot damage okay so that's how much damage they deal now to update the health bar, I'm gonna be really, really cheap about this. I'm gonna to go to the enemy script, scroll down to where we update the health bar here, copy, paste. We don't have to change anything about it, thank gosh, because all the names are the same. 
and even the healthy pivot's gonna be the same because I use the prefab. Then we destroy the object, which is our enemy that just ran into us. Okay, so the enemy can only hit us once. The only other thing we have to do now is check how much health this guy has left. So I'm gonna make another little function here called void check health. Then call upon it, whoops. Just call it here, check health. Uh, we then that like so down in the check health we just simply have to go uh have we any health left if current health is less than or equal to zero destroy game object with a little g and that'll destroy our thing to protect it won't do anything in terms of reloading the level or giving any fail message so that's all the code that we need we chuck this script onto our thing to protect, chuck the health bar prefab onto it. Let's click on him. Thing to protect. Pop it up here. Close. What are you doing? Oh, it's thinking. There it is. Chuck the health bar prefab in the prefabs. There. Hit the apply button like I always do. And I'll just hit put an enemy. Let's get this little guy here. Let's put him right next to our thing to protect. And let's make his current waypoint doo -doo -doo -doo, waypoint 12. So that means he's going to go straight towards the thing that we need to protect. Whoop, I'm going to have to angle my camera. Ooh, something didn't work there. Let me just, oh, the health bar wasn't. I just realized. Let me just pause for a sec. If I have a look, the health bar is stuck inside him. I need to raise that up a little bit like that. So we need to add, what do we need to add? A fair bit by the looks of it. Uh, 0.5 and 1. So let's go back to the script, go up to here. So on the Y axis is a 0.5, and on the Z is a 1. So whoops, put an F there. Let's give it a quick test. You can see it took a little sliver out of it, but that's it done. Sorry about the little intermediate video, guys, but I just realized that I need to get that done before we do the spawning. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.